Hello, hello everybody and welcome to another Planet Zoo stream. I am El Tanen, in case you don't know me, I'm one of the community managers here at Planet Zoo. Um, have you missed me? Have you missed me? You might not have seen me the last couple of weeks. Uh, I was seeing my family, they came down from Scotland to see me and then I was unfortunately unwell. But I am back and I am here to have lots of fun with you. But if you have had fun with Jens recently doing the career mode, do not worry because I am sure you will see him again very soon. In fact, I have a very special guest with me. I wonder who it could be laughing in my ear. <laughs> Well, you've done such a good job while I've not been here. It felt wrong not to have you here now that I'm back. Thank you for looking after my plans, oh fam. <laughs> I know, right? I, the, the whole so energy here, it's so good. I love them so much. And speaking of, should we take a look and see who we've got here with us already? I'm seeing. There's audio on my side from you. That's weird. Oh no! Why is that happening? Um... Try now? Hello? Hello, 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 hello. I mean, you can hear me, obviously, all the time. Yeah, that's why... Did... Ah, now yeah, good. now it's good. Cool. <laughs> do not know how that happened because literally all I did was tap a slider that was exactly the same as it was. Yeah. But sometimes technology is weird. Yeah, Listen to this kid. Hi, Eds. Thanks for looking after my, my lovely Planzo fam. Hi, Al. It's been amazing. <laughs> your your Planzo fam is fantastic and it's been great to, uh, to, to play some of the career mode. Yeah. I'm and look after your stream. Hmm. I tuned in, had a look. You did really, really well. Oh, awesome. Fantastic. I love to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> now should we take a look now that people can hear you uh, who's now that they can finally hear us. me yes so um, people are saying we have a Jens but I saw we do actually have another Jens in the chat yes so... there's a there's a Jens game player um, <laughs> shout out to them uh, and I take, took a look at their YouTube profile so yeah there's there's two Jenses now in chat Peace. look at us <laughs> all the Jenses we're just slowly collecting them <laughs> it's the first other Jens I've ever seen so... there is another one actually in the company as well um, is there? So, yeah, not the, Norwegian. He's Dutch, but I'm gonna I'm not gonna dox him too hard. <laughs> <laughs> the more you know. Um, I'm also seeing, of course, our wonderful moderators. So hi to Heather, hi to Osric, hi to anybody else who is here that I have missed. I'm seeing some familiar names. I'm seeing some of our creators between two gays. I'm seeing Eben. I'm seeing Caesar. Um, and yeah, it's just really nice to have you all here, tuning back in for me, returning. I'm here again. Um, How does it feel? It feels good, but mm. also a little bit bittersweet because um, just so as everyone knows, I'm here for two weeks and I'm gone <laughs> again <laughs> because I'm going away on, uh, well, I'm going on holiday, but I, I'm just taking a break because I've got some friends coming to visit me. Um, so then you're going to get even more fun time with some of my wonderful colleagues. Probably with yours tr truly. More than likely. I am um, wonderful colleagues. You That's are true. wonderful colleagues. <laughs> <laughs> um, so on that note, uh, should we jump back into Planet Zoo? Sure. What are we doing today? Well, if I jump on over, uh, I've got some changes to show you since the last time you were here. Oh, okay, cool. I'm looking forward to it. So I still rem I recognize the giant pumpkin. I remember this. Yes, this is from the winner from our build competition. This mm -hmm. was by Musical Geek 22 and I've got it placed in now so it fits perfectly with the little pumpkin and it even lines up with the path at the back. I've added some extra foliage Amazing. leaves. Amazing to blend it in That's and it's so good it just finished off our little fairy tale area perfectly i love it uh, it's very it's very on brand for you as well i feel i do like the the fairy tale <laughs> fall shtick it's very pretty also like asking if there are more squirrels actually no but now that you remind me <laughs> i wish i could say yes but i was focused on doing stuff that was actually functional and now sure. i'm disappointed in myself <laughs> like I've been gone for two weeks and I've returned and there's like even one more squirrel. <laughs> Who am I? What is my identity? <laughs> squirrel person. <laughs> Just losing everything. Uh, but what I have done is fleshed out our penguins. Yay, penguins. So I finished off, I did some alternate rock area around here just to have some symmetry. Mm -hmm. Um, I added in some greenery just to balance it out. 
Uh, I also added in some lily pads over here and I used our new water effects on both of them. So I have flexi color changed their waters to match the oh, bio. Oh yeah, the yeah, yeah, I can see that they're different. That's cool. Yee. Really well done. And I've also added of... some, uh, some of our mist effect onto this one to make it look cold. Oh, right, because it's cold and then it steams and yeah, 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 that's good. <laughs> I like it. Thank you. I like you. it. Picasso. Picasso. <laughs> <laughs> so I got busy doing all of this and then also just doing a few little adjustments, which is important for your zoo maintenance. So I've added in some additional trash cans everywhere to try and deal with some litter issues we were having. You can see if it's, it's looking like it's all cleared up mostly now. There's a couple of bits here, so might add another trash can over here. Mm -hmm. I will do that quickly. I also hired some more caretakers, assigned them to the area um, to make sure that we had people to help clear up in the first place. Good idea. Um, I upped our zoo prices because I would not stop getting complaints <laughs> that it was too cheap and they wanted to give us more money. I so. love how in, in I'm, I'm not complaining, 100%, not complaining, but I do love how in games like this, the visitors are like, you know, I'm not paying enough for this. Yeah. I'm paying too little for the experience I'm getting. Yeah. Like, I mean, if that's what you want to do, sure, yeah. we'll take your money. I mean, if money. you want to give me, give me more digital money, go ahead. But... Uh, yeah. Fero Gaming in chat actually asking how they can get the, uh, the, the big pumpkin. Oh! So if you go onto our Steam Workshop mm -hmm. there and search, if you search Musical Geek 22, or if you search uh, Pumpkin Pastries, Either one will bring it up because uh, Musical Geek 22 is the wonderful creator of said build. And if you are 100% not sure, if you're not used to using the Steam Workshop, what you can do is if you go back and watch our video where we looked at all of the builds for the Plan Out competition, which would have been three weeks ago on YouTube, then all of the builds that were there are all in the description. So you can find all of the ones that are featured there and that one as well. Excellent. Amazing. Yes, I always make sure to go back and add it to the description for anybody who isn't as used to finding stuff. Mm -hmm. Now, I have caps lock on. I've, I've put in animal talk. <laughs> animal talk! Yes, I just figured I should probably add one because we have one here for these penguins, but we don't have mm. one here for these penguins. So, let's get one onto the side. Nope, this is, this is Francis Franklin. Francis, we love you, but you're not what I'm looking for right now. Oh, I thought for, for half a second, I thought that was one of the penguins. It can be. <laughs> Pick a penguin, Jens. <laughs> I mean, it has to be a male penguin, I guess. Okay, let's see. Is this, is this guy a male? Levi's a good That's name, Levi. though. We can't, we can't change Levi. No, Levi's Chloe, staying. Chloe, Sophia. Charlie. Charlie, Charlie mm, yeah. Wait, hold on. Ava. Hudson can go. I'm keeping Hudson. Charlie because I'm obsessed with Heartstopper right now. So Charlie's okay. staying. Sure, 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 sure. What was it? Francis Franklin? Yeah. yeah. Here's Francis Franklin, the penguin. The penguin. <laughs> <laughs> Guy walking by is just is just going like, oh, that penguin's named after me. That's weird. It's a, it's an homage. Look at him go. <laughs> Look at little Francis Franklin. <laughs> good name for a penguin. That's a, that's a good strong name for a penguin. 100%. Oh, excuse no. me for just a second. Yeah, of course. While you're doing that, I'm just going to get this talk point assigned to being about our penguins. Which month did I set the other penguins as? Because, you know, you can only have talks once a mm -hmm. month. And yep. it's May, so I guess I will set these ones as June. Yeah. And it is May right now, so might Actually, as well. I might set it later and set it uh, <laughs> just so as there's like more space between the penguins. Mm -hmm. You get one penguin talk every half a year. Yes. <laughs> Important. Then people know when and how to show up for the uh, for the uh, the penguin talks. Yes. Perfect. Sweet. Right. That's that assigned. Oh, I think it needs an educator assigned to it. Did I forget to do that? I did forget to do that. Yes. Do I remember how to do that? I've been off for two weeks. I don't know. Do you remember how to do that? <laughs> I haven't done that. I haven't signed it to a work zone. That's why. Ah. It's because I stopped using a sign and I started using work zones. Cool. Um, so it needs added into my work zone. So I had a I had a thing the other day 
where, well, the other day, last week when I was streaming, and at some point when in the career mode, you're asked to set up a work zone. Mm -hmm. And the instructions is to name it something important. And so I named it something important. Of course and you did. Of course I did. And so <laughs> it turned out really well because I could always find that one work zone whenever I needed to. See, I like that you actually went, mine are very boring. I have work zone one and work zone two. Yeah. <laughs> Later on, if I continue the continue my path down the career mode, it's probably going to end up just being no, you <laughs> work keep zone it. one and two. It should be something important, something unimportant, something obscure. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm not, gonna remember, I'm not going to remember any of it. You know that, right? Yeah, but that's fine because then you just go on them and be like, work zones. Oh, what, what's this work zone? Oh, that's that one. That's fine. <laughs> At least give us work zone two, two electric boogaloo. Yes, that you're allowed to do. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I still think you have to have, it can't actually be work zone two though. Your act of work zone one is something important. Work zone and then two work zone is, two electric boogaloo. No, yeah. no, no. Then work zone uh, two is something unimportant. And then work zone three is work right. zone two electric boogaloo. Just to be confusing. Okay, right, yeah. <laughs> I feel like we're moving into some sort of Abbott and Costello routine. Like, this is like borderline who's on first. <laughs> I like the confusion. I embrace the chaos. <laughs> it's commanded with me with being extreme chaotic neutral. Um... But yes, because I have done the penguins, because I figured yes. we've already spent one time just sitting doing some rocks, I'll just crack on and get all the rocks and foliage and reeds and everything sorted. Instead, we have this big old gap. Mm. A good gap. It's a good gap, but we should probably put something there. Yeah, I agree. And because we have this little court and little food area that leads into it, I was thinking we could maybe put a restaurant. I thought the exact same thing. I was just like, I was looking at it, I was like, Restaurant. Look at us, wavelengths. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> so let's have a well. Let's get rid of animal talk because there's not an animal talk restaurant. Uh, unless, uh, no, I'm joking. Do not. <laughs> <laughs> the concept of trying to build this, no. Oh, I heard squeaking. We have a new follower. Hello. We oh. now have follower alerts, in case you didn't notice. And so if you hear a happy little otter squeaking and look in the corner, you will see when we get a new follower. So hello, hello, and welcome to the Frontier fam. That's cool. I, did, I didn't hear it, so I was just like, wait, there was squeaking? What happened? What did I do? You will know from when I get very excited that I can hear otters. <laughs> sure. Because uh, Asian small clawed otters are one of my favorite animals. I like animals that um, are made of liquid. Like, they yes, don't have bones, they have liquid. Um, yeah. That's why I like cats, and I like otters, and I like ferrets and polecats and all mm -hmm. the, the, the things that will slink and yeah. that kind of stuff um and then i like most animals that are little garbage creatures that's th those are my favorites <laughs> <laughs> like if it's known in some way as like a trash goblin animal or sure. it's slinky those are the good makes ones sense. makes sense yeah i like those two we got another one hello ludwig <laughs> welcome i'm gonna get very excited i love the little otter squeaks can't wait to hear this <laughs> Um, for anybody who has not seen, this is actually very fitting because today our Asian Small Clawed Otter Talk from with That's our me. friends Ship with Wildlife Park went up on our YouTube. So if you didn't originally see it during Cappy Cam or if you just want to tune back into it, you can find it now over on our YouTube. And it's it's like seven minutes of me being really excited about the fact <laughs> that I got to meet some otters. <laughs> Meet some otters, you held a big pole for them to grab onto. I did, I, I think, got to help point. them train. That's so cool. So, oh, restaurant nice options. Restaurants. Mm -hmm. We have a couple. I'm going to quickly adjust the sun so as it's... We can actually see. Imagine just being able to do that in real life. Just being like, all right, I want it to be golden hour. Go. And then just... That would be so you know. helpful. It would make so many photography and filming opportunities so much easier. I know, right? <laughs> but options we have. We have this mm -hmm. little one. All right. Which yep. has the seating area. Nice, nice modern design. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We have this one. Oh. Which I feel matches the trellis area. It does, but I feel like the, the building is pretty big. It is. It is. It's a very big building. It's like a firehouse. But to be fair, there is nothing here. There's just plant life. True. That's true. So it's maybe not necessarily an issue. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, I like it. 
I'm thinking if this fits in this area, mm -hmm. because I just feel like this one's pretty, but too small. It's a bit too small, yeah. We need something else to sort of flesh out the full area. Yeah. Mm. Whereas this one fits in quite well and it does match. So what I was thinking instead is we could do this and then decorate this area up here and make it... I like the sound of that. One area? Yeah. Cool. I like it. Let's do it. We have a plan. Right. The only thing, though, is the trellis might need to either go on the other side or have this if it'll fit. Because, ooh, this might fit oh, perfectly. Ooh, that's pretty good, though. That is. Mm -hmm. Look at us. It's fate. I mean, you're... I mean, that's on there by like a millimeter. That's pretty good. That's a pretty nice alignment. I'm pretty happy with that. I like it. Amazing. Well done. Thank you. Uh -huh. And well done to the devs that actually made it. <laughs> I cannot yeah, I take mean, credit. They made it. We just placed it. Yeah, but <laughs> I cannot take credit for how perfectly this was, but... I mean, you put the square there, I guess. I did. I, I did some very well-spaced squareage. <laughs> so, um... Made to fit, says Osric. <laughs> it all worked out perfectly. Everything For just... Sure. The game is being nice to me to welcome me back. So, I know this sounds bad, but I kind of want to put an ATM around here in case people can't afford stuff, because we only have one at the entrance. Mm. I have That's to probably steal a, it, but... Probably a good idea in case people want to, you know have cash for the restaurant. Let's stick it in the food court area so as mm. it's like less of a come to our restaurant, just give us money. Where where can I put the ATM that looks not awful? Um, good question. Maybe, I think there maybe is a good Tucked in the place? corner? Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. It's in a food court, so I don't mind as much. Yeah. And then we'll make it look a bit nicer by sticking like a bin or something like which sounds like dumb but they, they are quite nice looking i mean it's a good idea to have bins in case you know in case they get the receipt they look at the receipt and they're like oh throw this away and then you know in the bin speaking from experience there 100 <laughs> percent. yeah um seeing it's a dutch restaurant odicus and Oh, uh, Dutch username that I'm not going to try to pronounce is <laughs> suggesting that they sell uh, Frikandel Special and Croquetten. So, yes, I know what that is. Ten out of ten. I've, I've heard of these things. Well, I would hope you. Oh, otter noises! Hello, <laughs> neogenic, neogenic, neogenic. I read that way too. Yeah. I got excited about otters and read too fast. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be amazing and awful for my little ADHD goblin brain, where I just get completely distracted and very excited. But it's nice. It's so nice that now, while we're streaming, we can see when people are coming and joining us. And thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so, out the front of here, what will I stick? I'm thinking maybe some... Get rid of all of these filters for when I was doing penguin adjustments. Mm -hmm. okay. are, we keeping the, uh, are we keeping the grass under the tables? Or are we adding in, like, flooring? We could add in flooring, but I do feel like it adds with the garden, but what I might do is make it short. Mm -hmm. So it's just short grass, because I do kind of like that it makes it look like a meadow. It matches That's with, true. The, with it does, the wisteria, yeah. and... But it does need to be short, because I don't want people having grass that goes up to, like, their calves. Mm -hmm. Yeah, much. that's gonna be that's gonna be weird. Like, if people come in shorts, and then suddenly they're sort of feeling grass, like, up their legs. <laughs> that's weird. Yeah. I'm in a dress for once today. We're going to take that into account and do <laughs> leg consideration. Okay, let's soften this out a bit. I need this to be smaller to balance it a bit more. Please, wrong one. Mm -hmm. okay. I'm being particular about foliage, like, places again. It's fine. Live your truth. It's fine. People are going to be used to it. They watch enough. If they're here, they probably watch enough Planet Zoo streamers to know that this is the experience. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this looks nice and this is nice and natural. Like, it's sort of made to be there. Yeah, right? That's what I'm mm. kind of liking. Like, I could stick some stuff down, but I think it looks cute that it looks like this little garden moment. 
Plus, for all they know, like this is fake grass. It could, absolutely, yeah, it could be. I think I've been to a couple of restaurants where they sort of do that. Yeah. Like you walk around on fake grass. And it's outdoors. Mm. So it works. Now I'm thinking I could stick some like flower beds along here for this little gap. And maybe yes, a couple of little, like like, street lights. Yeah, I do like that. I think that's good. Cool. I will get some gardening out then. Mm. Um, ooh, I might stick a little hanging basket. So what? Good job. It's upside down. Oh no! It's been weeks since I've used shortcuts. <laughs> What's the one for vertical rotation? Uh, X for advanced. X is for advanced, but there's a shortcut to do it because I can do it, but now I'm determined. If you hold down Z and then you move the mouse up and down. No, Z just works on oh. pivot. Okay, well then I don't remember. Then I don't remember. But Z people in pivot. chat will tell us. Yeah, Z is pivot. Shift is <laughs> up and down. Um, X is advanced. I can't remember what C is. I'm gonna press it. I'm gonna break something. <laughs> <laughs> I had so many of the shortcuts down. I go away for two weeks. I forget all my shortcuts. <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's fine. I do the same thing whenever, I, <laughs> whenever I'm away for a game for too long. I do it with literally every game. <laughs> but I mean, if you play, if you hit, what is it? If you hit X several times, then you'll get advanced placements for up, down, and left, right. I will. Yeah, and... press two times X, says Ludwig. Ludwig yeah, but what's C, that, that one I know. There's a specific <laughs> shortcut that's bothering me. I know I could do this, but uh, if it wants to work, I'm on a weird axis for doing sideways. I can know I could do this, but there's there's a shortcut. I don't remember what the shortcut is. I'm sorry. Oh, well, I'm here now. Yeah, we're here now. I also could I'm have just it. put on Snap to surface. and it would have just Probably, yeah. Fun. <laughs> if you're just joining us, we're uh, building some. Uh, we're building a big old restaurant in Plant Elf Zoo Community Zoo. We are. Hello, welcome. No. <laughs> just Goron. I'm three thousand hours in. Haven't found a shortcut for that. I think there should be one. I'm sure there's one. We if have there's used not, it. I'm just delusional. I think we have used it. If not, we're misremembering something. So when I learned shortcuts, like all of the actual shortcuts in game, because I knew some of them, but mm -hmm. um, our wonderful Killian sat and took me through. It, it, why does it have to be moved? Oh, I accidentally duplicated it. Um, yeah. yeah, Killian sat me down and took me through loads of them. So either I'm just remembering completely wrong or I'm right and people don't know it. <laughs> A little from column A, a little from column B. <laughs> we'll find out. We'll find out. I'm just I gonna mean, get... you, you know, there is a menu where you could just go and see no, all that's the cheating. key buttons. That's <laughs> cheating at this point. I'm waiting, honestly, for after the stream to just get a message from Kelly and be like, you've thrown me under the bus. How dare you blame me? And I'm like, I'm not blaming you. I just have an awful memory and it was months ago. I mean, most of our, most of our content creators in chat are just going like, I don't think there's a shortcut for that, so. I'm sure I remember there being one for vertical rotation. That Maybe did not. not work. Almost. Oh, almost had it. Almost. Uh, it's actually on a line to surface, so that is why. I'm just going to mm. manually adjust it. Oh, you got it. There we go. Nice. I don't know what I'm doing. Sometimes. Except <laughs> with shortcuts, apparently. <laughs> I'm I, I, like, this feels like the Berenstein Bears, Bears thing. Like, I'm convinced there was a shortcut, and now I think I'm just, like, delusional. I mean, yeah, maybe this is the Mandela effect. The true Mandela effect is the... Yeah. We are in a parallel universe. Maybe it's just because I have an uh, art degree background and I'm used to being in, like, Maya. Potentially. And it's very similar rotation axis tools. Mm. Maybe my brain's just merged the two. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway. Say lovey. Say lovey. So, what are you thinking in terms of like what kind of flowers do you think you want to put down? I'm not sure. First off, I'm trying to pick a planter. Mm -hmm. Um, wrong one. So, I'm thinking this one because it matches. Was my initial right. thought. Yeah, and it goes it goes with the like overall sort of wooden decor, like wooden theme we've got going. Yeah. Right. 
Mm -hmm. So what I'm thinking is this, and if I get this more aligned, perfectionism, you know. I think you got it. You think, but. <laughs> and then you notice, oh no, I'm off. But what I'm thinking is if you shove. Just don't look at it from the angle where you might see that there's an, a misalignment and you're good. That's such good advice, Jens. <laughs> what great building advice. I mean, that's all there is to it, right? Building a planet suit, just only look at it from specific angles. Just look at it from a specific angle, like they do in movies with practical effects or right? CGI or whatever. Anyway, but yeah, just look at it from that specific angle and you'll never notice that something is wrong. It's the best way to go about anything. To be fair, I've done the thing where there's a bunch of rocks coming out of glass here and I mm -hmm. haven't hidden it yet and I'll do it at some point. <laughs> I didn't have time after I doing mean, the rocks. I was going to say, considering you painstakingly went out of your way to align the rocks properly in the other penguin habitat, I feel like this must be killing you, that the white rocks are all misaligned. It is a bit. <laughs> but I didn't have time before the stream. <laughs> so we have one obsessively perfect penguin habitat and we have one else in a rush penguin habitat. <laughs> Right, flowers. Yeah. What are we thinking? Hmm. Yeah, it's pretty good. I'm trying same. to think what match. What have we got in here? Mm -hmm. I mean, Is it's. There... I think it's generally the same sort of. Right. I'm thinking we go for like purples or lilacs because they're up here. Yeah. They're in there. So mm. what options have we got? We've got these. We've got. They're too big. Mm, not the daisies. We have azalea bushes. So we could put some of these in, which I think actually might be a, a match. Yeah, I think these uh, might be azaleas. Looks like it, yeah. So azaleas would make sense. They would match mm -hmm. in. Sustainers Gaming says that purple themed flowers would be cool. I feel like it fits in with the overall theme we've got going. I'm glad people approve. Mm -hmm. um, we have the classic flower beds, but I'm thinking we can do better. Yeah, I like it better when they sort of pop up, you know? Yeah. We have fairy fan flowers, mm -hmm. which are these little purple ones. They would be very cute. For sure. Mm, I think that's the bulk of them. Oh, I've got an idea. I've got, I've got an idea. Hit me. Put a squirrel in the middle. I like the but way like you between, think, yes. between, between the planters. Because like I saw you scrolling by the squirrels. I was like, oh, squirrel. Good. I've trained you well. <laughs> I'm thinking these ones because they're a nice, like, pink and... Definitely. I like that they're fairy. Mm. I'm, obviously, this is not a light. Don't worry, I'm going to go adjust it. <laughs> but I'm going to adjust this one and then just move it over. It was indeed a squirrel moment. I mean, it looks like you're pretty on but, it. Uh, yeah, not enough. Not quite? Ah, right, yeah, makes sense. Want it to look more naturally situated. Swifty Folklore says, uh, I was missing this project so much. You're doing great. Thank you so much. Thank you. And hi, Swifty. It's nice to see you. Welcome to the stream, Swifty. I have, of course, seen you on our socials like normal. Um, but it's really nice to see you again in a stream. I've been missing everyone. Ooh. <laughs> That's nice to hear. Yeah. I love my little zoo community. There we go. Nice. I'm actually going to balance out and add in some of the other ones. If I can't, the azaleas might be too much. <laughs> um, perfect. <laughs> Let's take off. It's like off. a giant roly-poly, just sort of crawling over them. Right? I'm just going to take off a line to surface. That looks nice. Thank you. Yeah. And this is going to be one of those situations where we just don't look at it from the back. It's going to be overlap. It's fine. <laughs> <gasps> I heard the squeaking. Hello, Jederic. Gederic. I think it's Jedrick. Jedrick. I don't know. Like Jedward? I guess. <laughs> I don't know. 
<laughs> oh boy. <laughs> well, Jedrick, Jedrick, welcome to the Jedrick. stream either way. Maybe actually this would look better if I do like, just let it overlap. I was assuming that it was generic. Well, gener generic? I don't that know. That would make sense. I speak two languages. I don't know how to pronounce either of them. Technically, I speak two languages. Depends on who you ask. Yep. Depends on if they count Scots. I mean, it's, maybe they do. It's a language in its own right, but some people don't. Mm -hmm. uh, is this the same zoo with the glowy community build, says Sustainer Gaming? It is the same zoo with the glowy community builds. Well remembered. Except from all of the glowy community builds aren't in it, since we were looking <laughs> at one to pick a winner. Um, and But the winning one is in it. Yes, indeed, this is our Plan Elt Communizu build, which is a collaborative project where every week for, God, 11 weeks now, yes? This is the 11th episode, yeah. The 11th. Mm -hmm. We have been slowly building this zoo project together, um, featuring community builds, um, lots of work by myself, yours truly, and generally just having fun, getting input from you guys, having some ideas myself, and yeah, it's looking and, great. And I've been helping. You have. We've also had Fran on to help sometimes. We've been moral support. <laughs> that sounds like at some point I need to get you guys to come in and actually build something in Planet Zoo. That would be fun. We could do like a. I, I'm okay. I'm gonna. I'm just starting to brain, brain, brainstorm right away. Live. On You're about to. I love this. You're gonna just dig Fran into a hole. Come on, hit me. I was gonna say we could do like a build off or something. <laughs> you you for you versus Fran. For example, or you was just me, or I don't know. No, I like that. Oh, ours. Hello, mm. hello, Fury Spitfire. <laughs> Welcome to the. Um, oh, it's sentence just oh orders. <laughs> I told you it's gonna be the best and worst thing for me with my ADHD. I feel I feel like the dog from Up. I was gonna say, <laughs> this is just like an Up squirrel. Yeah, which is even more fitting considering me with the squirrels in here. It's, exactly. Yeah. It's all come full circle. <laughs> uh, I see uh, Audica's asking, "Where is Fran? Fran is currently next door, um, working away with her mm. usual duties. I'm sure you'll see Fran at some point." Uh, whenever Fran is next on a stream, but Fran may be watching this if you are. Hi, Fran. Hi, Fran. <laughs> right, uh, here's where I forget where lighting is. Why is lighting the thing? I don't know if there's one thing you always forget where to find, but me, it's lighting. Without fail. Um, is it under construction? Could be. Yes. Yeah, there we go. Every Lights. time. Every time my brain just goes, I have no idea where the lighting menu is. Right. What I want is the oh, classic lamp. Yeah, classic lamppost. Gonna... Classic lamppost. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's okay. It was just unexpected, so it made me laugh. We're going to stick one on either side. <laughs> Buenas noches says a bunch of Japanese characters that I don't know how to read. Well, hello o there. Over on, over on YouTube. Hello there, Buenas noches. I'm sorry that we speak maybe three languages, maybe four between us, and none of them are in any way Asian. Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah, unfortunately. Um, so, according to Google Translate, the characters translate to. Uh, Maneki Neko, which is something cat. Because I know Neko means cat, right? If, if it's Japanese, yes. I believe it does. I'm not sure what Maneki means. Yeah. Anywho. Right. But yeah, we only speak English on the streams. <laughs> yeah. Aside from you, who wanted to torment me <laughs> by helping me on a stream exclusively speaking Norwegian. <laughs> that would be fun, though. It would be fun, except for the fact that I understand exactly zero Norwegian. The best I would have is I speak a tiny amount of German. And so I'd be sitting here the entire time going, 
can I figure out anything from these both having the same <laughs> linguistic root? Can I figure out anything? <laughs> <laughs> but Frontier is based in Cambridge, England, and so we speak English here over on the streams because this is a primarily English channel. Yes. For true, indeed. <laughs> I just thought it was a fun thing to suggest. It definitely is. It would be... Oh, could you imagine me trying to do that with Scots? Yes. It would be aggressively Scottish in the entire <laughs> stream. <laughs> uh, I don't know if this is apocryphal. No, wait, this isn't actually apocryphal. This did actually happen. Apparently there was some teenager over in the US who edited a bunch of Wikipedia articles for the Scots language. Yeah. That was just a bunch of made-up gibberish. Yeah, and, and it's, like, ruined a lot of the, like, yeah. heritage we have of preserving the language because so much of it's been mixed up and convoluted now. It's a whole issue. Eesh. Yeah. <laughs> Hilarious. Really annoying. I'm trying to decide... I'm thinking... I need to think of something to, like, close this off from the area, mm. but mm. I'm not sure. Mm. Let me see what, like, decorative stuff I've got. To be fair, I could stick down potentially some of the other community builds that people were on about, the little deck group pieces. So I, I had a bit of an idea. Hit me. I don't know if this is sort of, I don't know if this is right or wrong, quote unquote, for the, <laughs> a bathroom. That'd be weird because that would smell. Um, I mean, a bathroom near the restaurant does make sense. Like you would one. need a bathroom near the, near the restaurant, but maybe not right where people are eating. I was yeah. thinking maybe like you could have like a line of um, exhibits there. That and sort of close cute. close them off at the end, but then have a because there's a path going like behind the restaurant, so then just have the exhibits sort of aligned with the with the side there. That could be cute. Let me see if I can make this work. Do I remember how to do exhibits? Oh, it's God. in facilities. Thank I remember you. this because I did this on stream last week. I swear I have gone away for a couple of weeks, and now all of my brain, all of my brain, remember is no English. Um, I remember sleep, be fed by dad. Yes. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> I remember heart stopper. Thank you, Heather, for the kind compliment. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad people find you amusing. I am very glad people find me amusing. It gives me comfort, like... leaving my plants so fab in your hands. Mm-hmm. Right, what, what's that? Oh god, that's too big. That's a big one. I mean, they're going to be chunky, no matter what I do. That is true, they are going to be chunky. But I think some of them are like, this is like two next to each other. It's like, sort of... There we go. That might actually fit. This might fit pretty perfectly. Yeah, but the other way around, is what I was thinking. Oh, you were thinking... Wait, which that way? way? That way, yeah. And then just sort of, no. This 90, 90 degrees more. That way, yeah. And then just sort of pushed up against the side there because then inside the exhibits if you just put in sort of yes but they are on the, the back the, side they are double-sided and what i was saying is the roof aligns if you do this way that is true it does do <laughs> aesthetics aesthetics are important okay and then i don't know depending on what the visitors might want maybe they maybe they want uh, spiders in their faces when they eat. Maybe they don't. I don't know. We can either close them off or not. Oh, that's actually pretty good alignment. I'm gonna move it slight. That's not what I meant to do at all. Can I? Can please no give whole thing there. There we go. <laughs> please give. One. I hit the wrong thing. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> it's fine. We forgive you. <laughs> Nobody's allowed to be mean at me. I've been away. I was sick. F's in, F's in, F's in chat for, for a talent yeah. sleep schedule and ability I'm, to do I mean, oh God. an ability to ever. Genuinely F's in chat for my capability to sleep just ever. For those who aren't aware, I have insomnia. <laughs> it's It's a whole thing. Yeah, F moment, says Ramo and Osric. Thank you, everyone. F's in chat for your ability to even. I appreciate it. Right, this lines up pretty perfectly. Yeah. But if we stick 
path here, people can see the other side of it. Mm -hmm. So if I grab this path is... Stone something? Yeah, where is it? Am I being blind? Is it, is it this one? Rustic path? It is this one. Yes. No, no, no. I mean, you could do grid. I could. I could also do that. Yeah, that works. <laughs> okay. And then... Um, what can I stick here? Will the bin fit there? I think so. I just put some uh, plants and stuff in there to sort of fill it in. It won't go in the center. Oh, no. It'll only go on the outside. <laughs> no! It's going to be a plant. Ben just going, I refuse. Ben I Ben is will out not. to spite me. <laughs> it's fine. Well, we'll... Time, time. You know what you do then? You bin it. Oh, oh. Hi, TJ Crown. Just Welcome. Nothing. Welcome to the Frontier Fab. I love this new alert. I love it. <laughs> This is the best welcome back. I just get happy little, uh, I was about to say squirrels, ours. I was thinking about yeah. the fact that I need to place a squirrel statue. You do need to place a squirrel statue. <clears throat> like it's one of the only things I've favorited. <laughs> yeah, it's that and then there's another plant on the side there. Yeah, this could be unfavorited. <laughs> Bye, twin flower. Don't like you anymore. Friendship ended with twin flower. Squirrels are my only friend. Squirrels are my only friend. <laughs> Oh, nice. I like it. That's cool. That's so sweet. Thank you. It needs moved slightly. Perfectionism. Ooh, excuse me. It's cold in here. Can That's relate. Squirrels. That's in the wrong placement. Now! <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing to me? What was that accent? I have no idea. <laughs> I think it started off as just like vaguely sort of Shrekian and then it just sort of went into, I have no idea where it went. I'm sorry. Vaguely what? Scottish. I was going to say Shrekian. <laughs> He's Scottish, mate. <laughs> oh dear. That's actually really funny because um, in case people don't know, Shrek has a Scottish accent. We're just not going to question it. Um, but he doesn't in some of the dubs. Uh, they did yes, keep it yeah. across mm -hmm. language. Yeah. Um, so my ex didn't know that Shrek was Scottish because they'd only ever seen it in German. Ah, yeah. And mm -hmm. it wasn't until we'd been together for like over a year and I made a, like, I'd made several at this point, but I made a Shrek reference. Mm. And they were like, I don't get why you bring this reference up. And I had to sit and explain this to them and I just watched their like whole life perspective change because they had no concept. It's <laughs> <laughs> very funny. <laughs> Yeah, I just remembered he doesn't have much of an accent in the uh, Norwegian dub either. He will just be like he he has the same sort of voice uh, sound or like accent sound as Donkey has, for example, or everyone else. So, but yeah. Why is facility inaccessible? I mean, How it was, it? but it isn't anymore. So How if you play, if you click play, should be now accessible. Maybe. How is this inaccessible? It's right there. <laughs> How is that? How is that inaccessible? Oh, wait, is it work zone issues? Can it not be... Can it not be functioned because I haven't put it in a work zone? Uh, edit. Do you have all of this? Don't know. What is this? Ah, Donald says link the tables. Ah, thank you. Wow. Well. Stuff's added to the work zone anyway. Link the tables. Let's see if I can remember how to do this. So, uh, full disclaimer, I've never done a restaurant because when I was playing Planet Zoo beforehand, we didn't have them. They're a new feature and I've never created one. Mm -hmm. So, this is something I need to learn how to do. It says tables already linked. Four tables. Weird. They're already linked. I thought the ones that came out of place would be already linked. Yeah, I was figured they would do that. But let's play and see if putting it in the work zone fixed it. If not, then I guess we'll have to do some adjustments and try and find out why. Hello. 
Well, at least the Hello, staff are happy. Welcome. Yeah, they're just chopping away and having a good time. Yeah. Why are you inaccessible? What? This, is, this is most definitely accessible. Uh, Emily DeMarco asking, do the tables need a path under them? I don't think they do. They shouldn't, because they should, if I remember rightly. Mm -hmm. It's been a while since I wrote the restaurant copy. Um, want, me, want me to check? <laughs> do you want to check my own writing? It sure. should just, like, all... To, oh, wait. There's, there's, no, the zero error is not going away. Why, why are you inaccessible? It is say it's a paving issue, but there's paving here, and so I'll try sticking paths under the table. I don't mm. think that's what the issue is, but... What harm does it do to check, right? I mean, if it was a paving issue, surely it would have to come from where they come at. How do I lower the, that way? Surely it would have to come from here. Mm, just as the tables can be placed freely. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, because you can place them on like really wide areas that are to be connected. Uh, Autica says, remove path before the restaurant and replace it. Okay. So I'm guessing the path there. Why am I pointing at the screen? You can't see me point. <laughs> Maybe that did it? Did that do it? It does not seem to have. Are the exhibits blocking the entrance? They shouldn't. The entrance should be here. So basically mm -hmm. the way that restaurants work from my memory, if I remember correctly, which I hope I do because I wrote it. Mm -hmm. um, you come in, they check in here, they walk down, and then there's this, like, basically portal to the abyss. <laughs> they enter the portal to the abyss, and then the abyss sends them to a table for a fine dining experience. Mm -hmm. Go to a table. Um, I'm not quite sure why this isn't working. Elevator, says uh, Heather. Check the guest hungry thing. The guest hungry thing being turned off should not affect. We have other shops here mm. that are. Oh, oh, Otter. <laughs> Hello, Virgil. Uh, welcome to the Frontier Fam. Maybe, yeah, so there's another tip here. Are both ends of the restaurant connected to a path? Maybe there's a. Whoa! Sorry, I got a notification that something was negatively affecting guests. Don't mind me. <laughs> oh, sure. It's the quarantine, I guess. Yeah, um, probably. Yeah, they're just going to have to deal with it. Could be, if there's a sort of a back door to the restaurant, maybe that needs to be connected as well. No, it doesn't look like it. Nope. Oh, R. <laughs> Hello, Hida Kureku. <laughs> Welcome to the Frontier Fam. <laughs> oh, otter. Squirrel. <laughs> look, I really like the otter function. Yes, it's good. What I might actually do is connect. We could try moving the restaurant backwards slightly, but that would mess up some of the... Hmm. Where, where, what do I do with the natural path? This one. Oh God, we'll oh stick. God, I forgot I made this very, very wide. <laughs> that is very wide and long. Maybe you should make it shorter. Um, I mean, should we try turning uh, food and drink things on and then off, or off and then on? I can try in a minute. I'm yeah. just connecting this up so as it loops around the back. Looks nice too. Thank you. Just because there is this pathway here, mm. and it means that people loop around. Aldegus also says, Jens is right, select the building, move it with X. That will... Sure, I will move it. That's the wrong... <laughs> wrong button. Wrong lever. Let's just control Z that. Advanced move. I don't want to move it much. How much further back do I have to move this? Then that's a path we connect. I oh, mean, it's it, gone. It, it went away. It went cool. away. We're going to... Success. Hooray. We're going to... Adjust all of this now. Sorry for showing people my. Maybe, no. 
Will this still work if I only move it back slightly? Shout out to Autocus for helping us. Uh... Autocus, we love you. You absolute star. And I, this still aligns, so I don't have to move it very much. Yeah. I think maybe we can remove the ed education thing there. We can, we can. I'm sorry, I'm being nitpicky now. <laughs> That's the only oh reason. no, feel free to be nitpicky. I'm so proud of you. I leave for two weeks and I come back and you joined me. <laughs> yes, the plan has worked perfectly. <laughs> now, do you remember how to select multiple things? Multi-selection, haha, I remembered. Hooray. Did it work? I need a squirrel as well. I think that's everything. Mm -hmm. I'll move all of this at once, actually. I'm just thinking I should probably move this back slightly. What haven't I selected here? Doop, doop. Gimme, 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 gimme. There we go. There we go. I'm missing one. There we go. Maybe the bench as well? The bench has to stay aligned to the path. Oh, yeah, of course. But what I'm thinking is we can just... Oh, we have our first guests in the restaurant. It's Success. amazing. Hooray. Yay. Oh, Thank so many people are waiting to get in, too. It's a very popular restaurant. Oh, yeah. People love that stone-baked pizza. Look at us. For a minute, I was like, what? I got really excited because I thought they heard the auto noise, and it's not. It's the bloody penguins. <laughs> <laughs> it's the actual in-game penguins. Anyway, we have two exhibits. Hooray. I'm pausing them, so as this is just sitting here for a while. But what should we put in the exhibits? Uh, anything but spiders. Okay, so you're having a hard... So you're fine with uh, giant centipedes? Uh, yes. Really? I mean, in, in real life, no. In-game, <laughs> yes. What have you got against giant centipedes? Uh, in real life? Yes. The same thing I have against most insects in real life. Too many legs. Um, Fair. I'm, yeah, that is... Yeah, I... I don't like things that creep and crawl and have a lot of legs. And I, I, I would like to apologize for people out there who like creepy crawlies. No shade against you. I just don't care for it. Mine is no spiders. I don't like... It's to yeah. do with the way they walk. Yes. Because um, like even I don't mind crabs and the same amount of legs, but I mean, it's to do with the way they walk. But I'm I'm not I'm not a personal fan of just having the Brazilian whatever on the screen right now. <laughs> <sighs> For me, that's the that's the big thing. Um, but I don't mind other insects. I'm normally actually the person that deals with most other bugs. Okay. Oh, here's a good suggestion from Sustenir, the new amphibian from the uh, Wetlands Animal Pack. The Danube Crested Newt. Yes. We could do that. We can do that. Do that indeed. If I can I don't, find it. I don't mind. I don't mind snakes that much. Weirdly. Sometimes they do freak me out, but I don't. I don't know. Snakes are snakes seem fine. I like snakes. I think you might be a bit too far to find the Danube Crested Newt, considering that's, it begins with D. That's what I thought, but it doesn't appear to be alphabetical. Because I looked and I did not see it, unless I'm just blind. I don't know. There's also the Fire Salamander. From good old Lumi Story. See? Mm -hmm. See? I uh, do, do, do and search. That did, did nothing. Nothing. Well. Well, oh well, it's a nice idea, but <laughs> eh. Does the search want to work? Yeah, somebody said ter terrapin, so I'll listen to them. Yeah, we let's can do have terrapins. a terrapin. Yeah. Um, I'll stick one terrapin in. Which one are we going for? Um. Hmm, let's see here. I don't know, let's go with... What? Let's go with the, Wakefield. That's the the monitor one. was doing the thing where it decides to randomly try and shut off on me. And we'll do that sometimes. Yeah, it's fine, we've got it. Let's do Wakefield. The Wakefield? One. Yes. Sure. So, 
dot. You can go in here. And then what are we gonna have with the terrapin? What would be cute beside the terrapin? Mm. Um. I'm trying to think of something that won't freak. Ooh, or <laughs> hello, Dragana. Welcome to the Frontier Fab. I love this so much. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I'm trying to think of what won't freak people out while they're eating. So I'm thinking uh, either giant tiger land snail or maybe like a little frog. I have golden poison frog sounds good. Golden poison frog could be pretty cute. Ooh, if we're doing that, I'm going for Enrique. 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 Hola. Enrique can go in here. Uh, Calypsum Gaming says that Wakefield needs a girlfriend. Okay, Wakefield can have... Can I put two in one? Should be able to, I think. Just make sure that one of them is uh, not allowed to mate, or they'll you'll end up with several more terrapins. I think I have mating turned off. You anyway. scroll past them. No, we no, you do not, because we've had baby penguins. Yeah, no, I think I disabled it afterwards. Okay. <laughs> um, okay, so is is he getting Aria or Verli? Uh, let's go with Verli. Verli? Okay. Interesting name, Verli. There we go. And golden frogs apparently require buddies, so we need more than one golden frog. That's fair. I mean, if the other one's getting a girlfriend, it feels mean that we've left the golden frog on its own. Yeah, exactly. Let's have, how many do they need? Um, I mean, let's go to the Zoopedia and find out. So I'm trying to do, I'm trying to remember, uh -huh. where the shortcut was, uh, species data, mm. four to seven. Okay, Ooh. I need seven <laughs> mating, more. mating system, promiscuous. Okay, let's get let's get a Hispanic vibe up in here. Oh yeah. We're gonna have Miguel. Miguel, Maria, Martina. <laughs> we will bring them. We're gonna to the have. Zoo. I apologize for my terrible Spanish accent. <laughs> uh, let's have Fernando. I'm not putting any girls because instead I'm making a <laughs> group of guys being lads, being fellas, being dudes. Do we want Andres or Jose? Or do we want uh, both? All right, let's go with both. Why not? Let's go with both. It'll be <laughs> five frogs chilling in a hot tub. <laughs> as much as I want to put Valentino in there. Sorry, Valentino. It's too late. Yeah. Too much of a romantic. Yeah. Because the whole point is to chill in a hot tub. Mm -hmm. Five frogs because they're not gay. You have Valentino in there, and then it gets risky. <laughs> Why do they all have Latino names? I, it's probably because of where they're from. Uh, I, yeah. Yes, because I think, if I remember correctly, all the different animals are named after the names of the sort of area where they're from. I heard Otter. Hello, Otter. <laughs> uh, I missed your name because it didn't show up properly on my side. But welcome. Welcome to the Frontier Fan. You can just see the second I like do the alert thing. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> oh, right, let's... El, El Tannen becomes activated every time the thing pops up. I'm glad that everybody's getting an example of what I'm like as a person. Yeah. Right, now I've decided which stuff we want applied. Where does mm -hmm. this rock go? It's always or... fun doing this, trying to see where they are. <laughs> Am I mad? Where is this? Aha, it's down here. There we go, it's underneath. Mm, let's not have that one. Then, where does the log go? Yeah, log. we can have the log. Log yeah. good. Log good, indeed. All log good. All log all the time. And then, we won't have all of the roots, because that's a lot. That is a lot of root, but yeah. Let's have the one at this side, so is then the view and the, hmm. the restaurants more clear. Yeah. Insert joke about root cause here. <laughs> okay, I need to adjust the temperature. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, no, it's just the humidity, not the temperature. Thank God. Yeah, well, like we nailed the temperature. Thank you, default temperature. <laughs> Recolor the water for red. No, that would look... Hmm, I think that'd be a bit too... I mean, it could definitely be customized. Which windows yeah. which? I'm I wondering we... if we should close off their view between each other or not. Potentially, yeah. 
Or do you think they should be friends? I mean, frogs and... <gasps> or, hello, Web Chica. <laughs> Welcome to the Frontier Fam. <laughs> Otter. Otter. Uh, right, let's get this... There we go. ...exhibit. Get its humidity up, because it's way too Ooh. low. Oh, I realized something we could do with the golden poison frogs. Mm -hmm. uh, we could name them all after characters in Encanto. We could. <laughs> I mean, there's five of them, so, you know. But they're all boys. That's so true. it would have to be all of the male characters. Yeah, and there's like one I can remember. Bruno, Camilo. Right, there's, there's Camilo too. Um, oh god, there's the dads. Because Pepita is married to... Oh no, I feel bad. I knew all of their names. Because there's the two... But even then, there's four. Because there's the two dads, Bruno, mm -hmm. Camilo. I can, I can... So we'd be one short. I can Google this. <laughs> we'd be one short. What are we going to do? Just throw in Coco and be like, oh, it's a cameo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're being yelled at that we don't talk about Bruno, so I don't think Bruno's allowed to be included. <laughs> No, Bruno. Not allowed. <laughs> Felix. <laughs> Felix is one of them. Thank you. Mm, right, right, right. So, Fernando can become Felix. There's uh, Augustine. Augustine. Thank you. I don't think I saved that right either. I did not. Right. There's uh, Camilo, Augustine, um, Camilo Felix. Camilo is... Uh, Camilo is 1L, if I remember correctly. There's yes. an Antonio. Oh, the kid! Yeah. Yes. Is Camilo 1 or 2Ls? Uh, Camilo is 1L. Yeah, and there's Antonio, who can understand animals. Fitting. Um, I'm not going to include Bruno. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Do we want to include Mariano? <laughs> um. Oh, wait. I was about to put... Oh. <laughs> you were about oh. to put Bruno in there. Yeah, is Augustine spelt the way I expect it to be? Have I spelt uh, Augustine right? Hold on. Hello, Otter. Hi, Esturn. Welcome to the Frontier Fam. Give me a sec while the Otter disappears because it's blocking my view. <laughs> no, it's without the E on the end. Oh, okay. Yes. I guess. Uh, no, wait. No. Ooh, never mind. It's without the first U, so it's Augustine, I guess. No, oh, okay. Like yes. this? There we go. Augustine. Yep. I can't do accents. I have an English <laughs> keyboard. I'm sorry. Um, right. And then Antonio. Augustus, Antonio, Felix. And then... the la we, Obviously, we, we don't talk about Bruno. No, so, so we, there's no Bruno. So who who's the the boyfriend? Uh, Mariano? Mariano. Yeah, Mariano. Yeah, Mariano can be in here. <laughs> there you go. Perfect. Are we renaming? Are we renaming these guys? I mean, or... no, they're, they're turtles. I don't know what or they're tort tortoises. They're terrapins. Terrapins. <laughs> Sorry. Um, no, because I don't know if of any Disney or Pixar films with terrapins in them. No. And it was more just like, oh, hey, these names are Spanish sounding. <laughs> <laughs> we have one Spanish reference. Oh, Otter. Hello. <laughs> Doy Leo. Welcome to the Frontier Fam. I love this. I love this so much. I love that I get the excitement of actually seeing who's joining us during these streams. This is making me so happy. This is going to crack me up whenever you go, oh, mm -hmm, Otter. Like, I'm going to start laughing every single time. Uh, good. That's what I'm here for. Did you not know? That's why they pay me in. It's comedy entertainment coming at you. <laughs> <laughs> this is what people were missing when I was gone. Aw. <laughs> Never mind. Right, we're going to customize the, the frogs. Yeah. Now. So, I want to give them litter. It's just, it's just leaves. No, they can have all the pretty plants instead. So these guests are way into these exhibits, by the way. Yeah, I know, right? Holy cow. Ooh, mister. Yes. All the effects. Just all the mist in there. 
They don't want to miss that mist. We'll have that many on. Yes. Perfect. Right, now how does this look from in the restaurant? Very nice. Yeah. This was a very good, good shout, Jens. Look at you. Sometimes I... What's the phrase? 60% of the time, I'm right every time. <laughs> See, my brain always just goes to a broken clock twice a day. Mm -hmm. That works too. Which, I mean, yeah. also isn't true if the clock is broken because it misses a hand, but c'est la vie. I always thought it was broken in the sense that it just wouldn't move. It would, but that's not specified. Uh, hello, lunatic Wolfie. Welcome to the Frontier Fam. <laughs> yeah, but like, it, yeah, it's never specified how it's broken, but I always assumed, oh, it's probably just stuck, like... Like That's that the something. insinuation, but I always just like to be like, that doesn't actually clarify anything. True. It's true. Yeah, they love these <laughs> they love these exhibit animals. They really do. Right, we have this gap here still. I could stick mm. a bunch of trees in it and just foliage it up. Or I could potentially see if some of our other community builds could go yeah, in that we showed off. Because we did put the winner in its position. But there were so many amazing ones, and it'd be a shame to let them go to waste when people yeah. did build specifically for Plan Elk. We've got the winner's square, I guess, circle. I was going to say winner's circle, but it's not quite a circle, is it? <laughs> so this would be the, the winner's oblong? The winner's oblong. <laughs> the the runner-up oblong? Well, the prize has been sent to Music League 22. So we can potentially see if some other peoples can mm -hmm. fit in here that would make sense. I mean, I feel like I have to see what the giant bunny at least looks like in oh, the game. Oh, of course. Here's, the, because... here's Fran. <laughs> here's Fran. People ask where Fran was. Here's Fran. Here's Fran. <laughs> Let's Welcome. put the demented bunny in for Fran. <laughs> I love it so much, but it's eyes. It is watching us. Perfect. It's <laughs> amazing. <laughs> Those poor penguins are just going to go, what the heck? <laughs> <laughs> I love it a whole lot. Oh, wait. Oops. I keep hitting move when I don't mean to hit move when I meant to hit duplicate. Perfect. <laughs> Put cameras in his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I love him, but like, he is a little bit scary. <laughs> <laughs> what what do they see? You won't believe the things it's seen. You won't believe the things Fran has seen. <laughs> cool. So that one can go there. Perfect. I love the idea that it's like, oh, let's go to the restaurant. Oh, good God. We're being monitored. <laughs> yeah, the restaurant was nice. There were some exhibit animals nearby. Very, very cute. A giant rabbit, though. <laughs> Kind of weird. I like you Not know. Gonna lie. You know this would be people's direction. I, I'm like, oh, like if you've been to the restaurant, which restaurant? The one by the giant rabbit. <laughs> Your comment says, right by the giant rabbit. What giant rabbit? You'll know when you see it. <laughs> You'll know. Um, I've seen Heather sharing the link in the chat. Thank you very much. Shout out to Heather for doing fantastic work. Absolutely killing it, <laughs> completely on top of it. I love this comment from Bold going, oh, look, it's my sleep paralysis demon. <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> I genuinely do love this build, but it just, it makes me laugh so much. It's just the <laughs> eyes. <laughs> oh, right. Which other ones could we put in here? We have a Rapunzel tower, but... It's pretty nice. It's very cute, but it feels overtly fairy tale when we're mm -hmm. trying to transition away from the area mm -hmm. we have a little mad hatter's house which is very subtle so it does just kind of match with the european shtick that we've for got sure going over here. absolutely and we could obviously remove the rocks that are too much mm -hmm. so this could fit in for just decorative household placement definitely we have we have a nursery but i think it oh no it would be it would fit we have a little nursery area we could place, which is like oh, a fake nice. area where they like show off the little scenery item eggs we have in games. Ah, as if people cool. are going to sit and talk about it. Mm -hmm. So that's an option. Um, what else would fit well in this little gap? Hmm. We have a fairy tree. Oh, this is oh. the one that has a bunch of additional mushrooms. Oh, good lord. <laughs> um, if I go over here, we have a fairy tree. <laughs> We just rotate so we can see. There we go. We have a fairy tree. 
Sure. This one came with additional unexpected builds. As I as you as I can see, yes. <laughs> it's a nice fairy tree, though. I gotta say. It is a nice. I like fairy the door tree. in the in the thing as well. I am gonna change the lighting. Is there a way I can actually? Nope. The sun so does trees. not like the spot. So I probably need something that's not gonna matter. We have this build that is actually really lovely. Um, mm -hmm. So let me shove this over here for a second so as I can show you. Put it in the floor. Doo -doo -doo. What is that? I don't know. A shadow. Did somebody lose a balloon? Oh, that's a balloon. No, I was thinking more of what the, the blueprint you placed down. Oh, OK. So this is the little reading nook. Oh. So there's an area where you don't disturb the elf. There's this little reading book area. It's got a waterfall. It's got the fact that adventure awaits you. There's this spooky little cave area Ooh. that's got like flames in it. And then around this side is a little shop. Cool, that's nice. So we could stick this down as a potential. I like it, I like it. If I scooch back over. Other ones we have as a potential is what would fit? What fit? Oh, we have the Elton B Education Corner. Oh, another reading nook. Uh, it is less of a reading nook and more of a little like fake education point oh, where um, cool. people could learn about like pollination and bees. Join us to learn about the bees, but it's called the Elton B because yeah, of yeah, non-binary. Yeah. And it's all the non-binary flag Aww. colors. And so it's my little mascot. <laughs> cool. <laughs> then what would oh, be very yeah. cute? Oh, NB, duh. Yeah, but um, <laughs> you have even to thank for that one. Shout out to even. That's amazing. <laughs> what I was thinking is if we stick this down and the nursery, we have like a little education area. Yeah, I like it. It's good. Picasso. Picasso. Uh, speaking of the Mad Hatter, I went to a uh, Alice in Wonderland themed escape room this weekend. Oh. That was fun. That sounds fun. Yeah. Had to do a bunch of interesting, funny, out there puzzles to, to, to do a thing. Like it was cool. what? Um, like figuring out. Hi, Lucky Creativity. Welcome to the Frontier Fam. <laughs> Uh, like uh, figuring out what the giant caterpillar put in his um, put in his um, what is it pipe like the smoking thing that he does. Hello, Ranger Danger. Welcome to the Frontier Farm. <laughs> did I escape? I did escape actually. Yes, we we made it through in the end. Uh, there was one puzzle where we had to figure out like where all the different characters sat around the um, the tea party table that they have in that story. And then there was a bunch of um, a bunch of clues about oh so and so wanted to swap swap with this person and then everyone rotated and then th this person swapped with this person here and then you know back and forth and that was cool. <laughs> Osric said I did one called Crazy Cat Lady had to find her six cats. <laughs> I have only ever done one escape room, which is incredibly shocking, because. Escape rooms are one of my favorite things. Okay. When I was a kid, a very cool kid on the internet, um, I used to play excessive amounts of escape room flash games. Oh, yes, I remember these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think at one point I had played like every single one on, mm. I played every one on like Two Keys Games.net, on like Afro Ninja, on, I played every escape the room mm. game. Um, I was obsessed with them. Um, when I was in high school, again, a very cool kid, I got really into this in real life. So for mm. a while, I got really into ciphers and like codexes and learning different cipher types. And I learned right. how to do lock picking. And okay, cool. Just, you know, totally normal hobbies. Yeah, normal team stuff. <laughs> um, and so at some point, I would really like to start doing... Also, my childhood dream, genuinely, like my whole family knew this, was to go on the crystal maze. Ah, right. That was the dream. Yeah. And the year I was of age to go on it, they stopped filming. Mm. Hello, Jax. Welcome to the Frontier Fam. <laughs> 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 but I think there's like a there's like a crystal maze thing in London now, like an event thing you can do. 
trust me, I'm aware of the fact that I've now been down to England. Do you know how much I am thinking about it? <laughs> it's the plan. It's the plan, Yates. Bold says, Bold says to leave some swag for the rest of us. Soz, I'm just too cool. Yeah, I, I can't step to any of this. Sorry. <laughs> You know, the, the kids really loved, all my like peers in school really, really loved the cool kid that's sitting there reading cipher books. <laughs> Did you, have you heard about the Caesar cipher? No. That's the only one I know of. Uh, yes. My brain has now forgotten where things are again. <laughs> I'm sorry. What are you looking for? Toilets. I think that's under facilities. That's why I checked it. Guest oh, facilities. I missed the toilet. Yeah, I went go. here, got distracted by food, and forgot bathrooms. <laughs> it's a big old toilet next to the nursery. Can you believe that there was ever a point in time where people didn't realize I had ADHD? Uh, <laughs> no? Yeah. Yeah. Yes? Uh, What's the right answer? It surprises me. <laughs> yeah, Osric chimes in. Are you aware there's a crystal maze in London that you can do? Yes, they are. <laughs> there is. It's not the same as what I want because of the fact that it doesn't have Richard O'Brien. Mm, but true. I will still love yeah. to do it. Nothing beats riffraff. Nothing beats riffraff. Go for this kind of more modern era one, I'm thinking. Yeah, it's not too bad. Or what does this one look like? Uh, I don't like the I don't like the roof. And Australia doesn't make sense. And what I thought was that the Europe one is like too too brick. Yeah. The thing around here is brick, whereas the yeah. wood works better. I agree. The brick is a bit too much. Yeah. Ooh, wood. Otter. Good. Hello, mm. Runor PR. Welcome to Frontier Fam. I'm convinced that people are now following every like they're spacing it out to just watch me get very excited. <laughs> Could be. I hope Hello, so. Daniel L two L. I can't tell if they're L's or capital I's or ones on this. I think it's Daniel. It's either Daniel one to one or Daniel L two L. But I think it's one to one. Yeah, I can. There was a slight difference between the L and the one. But you did miss one, says Aramis. Did I? No. Yes. I'm sorry. What I, I can. I can, can check. I have my list. Who did I miss? Did I miss Lucky Creativity? I think so. Hello, Lucky Creativity. Welcome to the Frontier Fan. I am very convinced that people are now like spacing out follows, so as this just happens every couple of minutes. Right, I'm gonna go back to actually doing the thing I was meant to do. So I will <laughs> They are keeping you on your toes, indeed. Oh, you missed someone named Colin. I missed Colin? I don't see Colin on my list. Where's Colin? I don't know. I don't see him. Well, hello to Colin. Because I was going to say, I I see... I see Stern, Dolio, Lunatic Wolfie, Lucky mm. Creativity, Ranger Danger, Jax, Rune RPR, Daniel questionable <laughs> numbers at the end. Aram has just, say, just said I could be going blind, so <laughs> maybe they... There's a new one. Hello, Scarman. Welcome to the Frontier Fit. <laughs> Day made. Best thing to return to. Everybody needs happy little otter sounds. Indeed. Speaking Hello, of. Hello, Sesbu. I'm speaking, speaking of. Hello. Welcome. It's the cutest sound. I'm so glad that the new follower notification is little Asian small clod R. I'm a little sad that I'm not able to hear it, but uh, I probably will at some point. I'm sure you will. Well, less than two weeks now, because we're nearly done this stream. Mm -hmm. And then, well, got a bit to go, but, and then you'll be taking over for me while I'm off doing shenanigans. So I'm sure you'll have plenty of time then. And there will be perhaps some shenanigans during my stream. Who knows? Potentially, probably. There, uh, there will almost definitely be shenanigans. Yeah. I have just realized I need to shorten the grass here yeah. or it's going to be all through here. You don't want that. No. That's not the vibe we're going for. I don't want people sitting on spiky grass. Agreed. Bad, vibe. Bad vibes indeed. And then Excuse I'm me. just figuring out... Bit 
bigger than that. Mm. Hazard says they uh, love <laughs> love to hear you say otter with your Scottish accents. Oh, do I say that particularly Scottish? I, uh, it could be. Maybe you just slip into it. I suppose it's it, it does tend to be things with T's because especially because uh, I'm from the East Coast. Uh, and I'm from a wee little farming area, but part of our accent is we drop the T, so it's an otter. It's not an otter. Otter, yeah, otter. It's an otter. Yeah. Um, because it's hmm. the same thing as I'm not from Scotland, I'm from Scotland. Mm -hmm. It's an apostrophe. <laughs> Neville insists I need to be equally excited for follows on my stream. All right, I'm going to try to. I'm going to try to work on it. I set the precedent. However. You've actually upkept my own thing better than I did because I got really excited about being back this week and forgot my own intro of Guys, girls, non-binary pals! <laughs> so you are showing I mean, me up there, but I'm very, very thankful that you've kept it up because I love my I, guys, girls, I, and non-binary pals. I felt, like I, I felt like I had to, and I think it's a very, just great, nice, inclusive way to greet people. So. It's a little homage. Exactly. Well, yeah. sign off at this point. Uh, Heather says, yes, that you do drop the T's, so that's probably what they're referring to earlier. Yeah. Otter, <laughs> says such in your gaming. Or. Yeah, it's like, it would be O apostrophe E R. Yeah, R. R. <laughs> hmm. I always find it amusing seeing when people notice my accent because I have softened it significantly because right. I work in media. So, sure. whereas when I was young, I was the equivalent of like a cunt, like redneck, but less with that stereotype, just like country folk in Scotland is called mm -hmm. a chukta. And I was a wee chukta kid. Um, okay. And I was very, very broad. Like, I, I remember sleeping on hay bales in my teens. All right. Kind of vibe. Yeah. Um, and then I was like, I'm going to work in media. Oh, no. <laughs> so now I've softened it significantly. And every now and then people are like, oh, I love your accent. You're so noticeably Scottish. But like two weeks ago, I was out in Cambridge and met somebody. And they were like, oh, what area of England are you from? And I was like, I'm from Scotland. And they were like, no, you're not. You don't have a Celtic accent. And I'm like, oh, God, my heart. How could dare you think I'm not Scottish? My heritage. Oh, no. People think I'm English is the worst thing. You can't do that to a Scottish person. I can accept when people think that I'm Irish. That's not even wrong. I am part Irish. I need to, I need to send you some clips from a TV show that I used to watch where a New Zealand actor tries to do a Scottish accent. It's oh. pretty hilarious. God. Mm -hmm. Yeah, watching anyone <laughs> try and do Scottish accents is always a, an experience. Bold says they imagine you as that one kid in Brave that no one understands. No, because that kid isn't speaking nothing. He's speaking Doric, and I don't speak Doric because I'm not from Aberdeen. <laughs> <laughs> but... I know many people like him. Um, do you, do you I, find that if you go back home and you stay there for a while, the accent sort of thickens again? Or have you just sort of pushed it far enough away though, to where it doesn't? No, because I've spent so long there. But what it does, it thickens when I'm tired. If I'm like really mm. sleepy, yeah. then it thickens. It thickens when I'm angry. It thickens when I speak about Scotland. Right. Um, or when I speak to my dad. Makes sense. That's yeah. my like set of when I get really, really broad. Mm -hmm. um, but it, people always point out when I speak about Scotland to the point that like sometimes my friends will bring up Scotland things because I'll get very excited and then I'll progressively get more <laughs> Scottish. It's also just kind of mandatory. Like it's quite hard to speak about things like lochs and skin doos without sounding Scottish. Sure. Absolutely. I'm just figuring out. I've put some trees in to buff this area out, which I think blends it together well and fills these gaps. I have this little really gap. Does, yeah. Mm. And I'm just figuring out. I did put some like dirt here so as it looks like people have walked into the seating area. Thought that was nice. That's nice. I like that. I like that nice little extra touch. Thank you. But now I don't know what to put here. I'm thinking I could potentially just put some flowers across the floor. Yeah, maybe. Maybe like another squirrel. I also did see a squirrel on top of the. Um, uh, big building there to the right oh yeah yeah here's <laughs> here's one of my my previous... yeah bold, bold also goes needs a squirrel i'm glad people have very wholeheartedly taken on my branding oh no at some point i'm gonna let you build in plan l zoo and then i might be off and you might add squirrels i don't know about i mean i wasn't considering it but now i am 
I'm going to come back and you're going to be like, career mode, first we have something else to do. Into Planet Welcome we go. To squirrel Zoo. <laughs> it's just green topiary squirrels everywhere. And that's basically what my zoo already is, so <laughs> it won't be far off. <laughs> Right. <laughs> Don't give him your save file. And that's the thing. Uh, we share an account. We share an account. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we weren't meant to share an account, but then I started on Jens's, and now Jens has just been like, it is uh, our just, account combat. Just, <laughs> so now uh, we have our little joint one. I always find it amusing when I'm logging in because I'm like, yes, I am J Valor. <laughs> it's me. None of the flower patches are as big as I want them to be. No. Maybe you can group them together. I could just stick like loads down. But I was seeing if there was like one big just <laughs> our account, comrade. Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> oh, I mean topiary stuff. That's cool, right? Is that Yeah, yeah, we could put some mm. some topiaries. There's a topiary hedgehog. I don't have any hedgehogs in yet. That could be cute. No. Oh, that would go well with the bee, because it's got like a little garden theme. Mm, that's nice. I like it. We put that. We put, <clears> obviously, <throat> a squirrel. Squirrel. To be fair, to be fair, it is, it is even. Did he put a squirrel in here already? Yes. There it is. Nice. I couldn't remember for when I looked at this before, but I was like, it's even. Feels like even would remember to put a squirrel. There is indeed. Now there are more squirrels. And a hedgehog. Yes. All of the squirrels. I'm going to put a squirrel on top of this building. Do it. It looked, the, the roof just looked like it needed some squirrels. That's a good squirrel. Thank you. I keep connecting myself to random animals. Anything that's black and white has become a motif for me. Yeah. Squirrels, otters. I'm okay with all of these. Trash pandas. Trash pandas. Actual pandas. <laughs> I get compared to trash pandas a lot because of my obsession with Persona, because people are like, oh, you're a little crime boy. Also, mm -hmm. hi, Fire Tiger. <laughs> Welcome to the Frontier Fam. <laughs> I was wondering, when are they going to say it? <laughs> I had to speak about my nasty crime boy habits, which I'm really not giving myself a good me being compared to the nasty crime boy when I know lockpicking. I, I promise mean, that I am a perfectly PG person. <laughs> sure. <laughs> mm. uh, I just, I have never broken in anywhere that I wasn't meant to be. I have broken locks before, but it was know, like- What does that even mean? <laughs> <laughs> I, because it would be don't like out, don't out your crimes on stream Elf. I'm not outing my crimes no it would be things like one of my friends would ask whether or not I could bust into their locker their own locker to see if I could do it so I have done <laughs> things like that but it was like with consent sure mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah nice excuse Elf. look I don't I couldn't do it now anyway so you could try and challenge me I was like 14 I was like 12 years ago that skill's gone <laughs> Yeah, However, just keep keep rowing. <laughs> I do have like sensitivity, and I've always wondered if you know the dial locks you get for like suitcases, mm -hmm. whether yeah. I'd be able to do one because some people can by like feeling Ooh. the click. I'm really determined to get one and try sometime. <laughs> I only commit crimes when necessary. <laughs> See, they get it. <laughs> <laughs> uh. It's not a crime if somebody gives you one of their locks and consensually asks you to open it. <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm just trying to find... Trying to find the, the four right... Four things I want. Yep. Oh, that's nice. Yes, yes it is. I like it. It's not a crime when you're giving per given permission. See? <laughs> says <laughs> says Sustineer Gamer. Gaming. Sorry. Not hugely comforted by the fact they have sus in their name. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's mm-hmm. Yep. But 
you know what? They they get me, so <laughs> I support them. Good animal fact in chat. Wild water buffaloes tend to graze in the morning or evening. It can be active both during day and night. Yes, because you can get animal facts from the chat now. On Twitch. On Twitch. Yes. yes. Sorry, YouTube people. If you type in exclamation point animal chat in Twitch chat, you will animal get chat. an animal. Animal <laughs> fact in Twitch chat, you will get an animal fact. There we go. Yes, you will. And you can also type in exclamation mark wetlands with a capital letter. All of these are capitals. Um, and then you will get a link to where you can buy the wetlands animal pack, which is where the Asian small cloud art comes from. I can get really excited about it. Okay. Oh, There's a tongue twister, yeah. Animal fact in chat, animal fact in chat. It's, it's not too bad. Could be worse. <laughs> the, oh, the bunny. The bunny. I'm going to stick a little bench here by the bunny. Yeah. In case somebody this... just really thinks this is a nice scenic area to relax. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe somebody wants to hang out with Fran. <laughs> so where are you sitting? By the giant rabbit. Okay. Oh, the bunny. And then I'm going to stick down some extra lighting so as we can make sure that this area is all lit properly. Excuse me. Hmm. I'm sorry for yawning so much. That's okay. Honestly, I'm surprised I'm not doing the same. I have had like four hours sleep. But to be fair, it's pretty standard for me. <laughs> ah, insomnia, my old friend. I like what you've done with the area. It looks really nice. Thank you. It's always nice to be appreciated. I just saw a guest do a three th free throw. That's tricky of like five bits of paper at once and they all went into the bin. So good on that guest. That's way better skill than I have. So <laughs> yeah, respect to them because I definitely could not do that. Right. And I think this area's looking about done. It's looking real nice. It's apparently very popular. Yeah, right. Maybe yeah. they're going to start complaining that the zoo needs to be even more expensive. <laughs> Could be, yeah. But we've got our we've got our penguin area finished off. At some mm -hmm. point, I'll come in and adjust. Do I adjust the rocks now? I'm gonna adjust the rocks now. I've got time now, and you brought it up. <laughs> I blame this on myself. Yeah, you have nobody else to blame. <laughs> there is a suggestion in chat for adding in uh, platy platypi, platypuses, it's platypuses, right? Yeah. Um. It depends on who you ask. Uh, it could also be platypodes. Anyway, platypuses. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, maybe for another stream. Like, if you wanted to be actually accurate, it would be... How is that even pronounced? Is it platypodes or is it... Oh! Platap platapodes. That's how it would oh. be pronounced. If I remember correctly. Because I think it would be the same as octopuses which would be octopodes because it'd be greek root if you want to be really really particular if i remember linguistics properly i i, I didn't take any linguistics so uh i but, just uh, well according nerd. to well, according to britannica.com pushes glasses up nose the plural of platypus is platypus okay so we'll take it from them rather than me trying to remember a bunch of linguistic stuff from years ago but what's fun is that uh, a group of platypuses is called a paddle, oh. which is very, very nice. Platypural. Platyplural? Yeah. Yes, a platyplural. <laughs> Why do I hear the Perry the Platypus music? <laughs> I might leave these ones. Oh, yeah? Um, and just cover them up. Because I think if I move them in, I might end up having to move them in too much. Mm -hmm. So... Actually, no, it's going to be the whole way down. I'm going to have to move them in. Ugh. Ugh. Well. Because, hmm. hmm. like, is that not just going to look really bad? Oh! Hello, Uchi Justina! Welcome to the Frontier, fam. 
according to, I'm going to try to pronounce this. Uh, I believe min, in you. Min colictin dedakot. Uh, platypuses are, are called vogelbekdir in Dutch, literally translated bird beak animal, which is very close to what they're called in Norwegian uh, because they are called nebdir, which literally means beak animal or like bill animal. <laughs> You're really determined to slowly try and expose me to Norwegian, huh? Yes. Or it's just, or it's just, you know, it's, it's, an, it's an interesting fact about German. About German? No, about Norwegian, I mean, because someone mentioned German in chat, so Freudian slip. Uh, German is uh, Schnabeltier, beak animal, so yeah. Oh, okay, because I was going to say, that's not German. Welcome to language animal facts with Jens and L. <laughs> and L. I can't where help we, very much. Where we expose each other to different to different languages. Why will this one not let me? <laughs> Am I going? Oh, it's just way back here. Why is it way back here? Oh, it's at a weird angle. Oh, it's okay. a very long rock at a weird angle. Yeah, I thought I was going mad for a minute. Uh, do you know what a platypus says when they go to a restaurant and have a meal? Do I have to take my hat off? No, put it on my bill. But um, <laughs> me just making Perry references wherever I can. <laughs> That's what Hamter's doing right now. There's a lot of Perry uh, references in chat. As there should be. Dan Povermeyer deserves it. <laughs> love Dan Povermeyer. Shout out to Dan Povermeyer, who I love. Just in general. Yeah, just in general. Just his existence. He's one of those people that I just really love. Like, he's up there with Hank Green. They're just people I genuinely really just love mm -hmm. <laughs> Jens is a certified dad hey I'll have you know I was a certified dad joker several weeks ago when last I did one of these streams with, with El Tannen yeah you are kind of infamous for the dad jokes and the puns indeed that is uh, that has become my brand I will not apologize at this hour um, maybe at a different hour maybe <laughs> Dad jokes are the best jokes, and puns are great. See, people agree with me. It's fine. Oh, it's nice that you have support. <laughs> Sarcasm is my go to. <laughs> These are some nice boulders. It's a nice boulder. Hmm. Will it look nice when I'm done after having placed them so they look so nice and I'm just shoving them all in the middle? Not <gasps> Hello, Winter Wolf. Welcome to the Frontier FM. <laughs> Give us a dad joke right now. That's not what, not how it works. Dance, monkey, dance. <laughs> I honestly didn't expect that to work. All right, nice. We're getting there. We're getting some, there. Some bold -er choices here. So much for, you can't just do it. <laughs> joke, yes, joke. I just did one. Thank you. See? Yeah, thank you, Aramis. Aramis is on my side. Appreciate it. I'm glad you have someone. I mean, I feel like there's always going to be people in my corner when it comes to the dad jokes. Probably, yeah. I don't mm -hmm. mind that there's that, like, tiny little ridge that could easily be covered mm. let me see how this looks does this look awful now i think it looks okay yes what i will do is probably move these reeds mm. <laughs> mm. what do you call a pig that does karate a pork what? chop a pork chop but um uh, why don't you see many elephants hiding in trees i don't know this one but i feel like i've heard it before that does they sound just, familiar. They're just re they're just, yeah, they're just really good at it. Yeah, that's the one. <gasps> Hello, Crusader. Welcome to the Frontier <laughs> Fan. I love this. I get the little, like, happy ADHD serotonin mm -hmm. from the little engagement noises. It's nice to actually see who's joining us during streams. Thank it you. It is, really. Such a nice inclusion we've now got. Um, 
here on the channel slowly building everything up getting our bots working getting all this kicking off our return to streaming doing it strong yeah I'm gonna keep slowly making the channel better and better and yeah i think and making the zoo better and better yeah bigger and better mm -hmm. we've definitely well we've got lots of room for activities oh there's so much there's so much room for activities it's a big my man. god hello mama bear and welcome to the frontier fam thank better you for following and better yeah exactly better and better people are just going to keep trying to get me to say words that have no, have t's in the middle of them now aren't they <laughs> I mean, it's that and words with double O's in it. Double O's? Yeah. Hello, air walking. Welcome to the Frontier Fam. It's like moon, for example. Moon. Exactly. Do I say that particularly? I mean, I think all Scottish people do. Do I? All, I think all Scottish people How do. How else do you say that? Moon. <laughs> How is it meant to be said? It's moon. But moon. I, a lot of moon. Scottish people says say moon. You have a much more shorter O sound. Oh god, I broke L. I'm sorry. Help! The man on the moon. I need <laughs> Yeah. The man on the moon. Th Your O is shorter. That just feels wrong. <laughs> the man on the moon. Man on the moon. Oh no, I broke them. I'm sorry. Uh, error 404 does not compute. <laughs> <laughs> That's never something I've picked up about my accent. El Tannen has encountered an error. It must reboot. <laughs> it must reboot. <laughs> That's never one that I have heard about my accent. The T in the middle. Mm -hmm. um, the fact that I roll my R's sometimes. I've tried to soften that as much as I can, but I can mm. do the like thing. Oh, yeah. I can um, do that too. Some people can't do it, which is odd to me. Um, I can't do the. It might. I don't know where it, where it comes from. I can't do the U with my tongue that some people can do, but that's genetic, apparently. Yeah, that thing. I can't do that. That's genetic. Um, and then obviously there's certain words that require a ch in Scottish. Mm. Um, the infamous Scottish mispronunciation of burglar alarm. Okay, this is a thing where people say that if you have a Scottish accent, you can't say burglar alarm. I can say burglar alarm because of media um right but a lot of people can't say burglar alarm if they're really broad scots because it ends up just being like burglar alarm <laughs> <laughs> like, burglar alarm it, it doesn't work All with right. their voice but <laughs> that is one i can do mm. um alas you can't catch me out with that one i'm gonna see how our restaurant's performing oh it's still very popular yeah, but cute. Doing well. look at us gonna check my heat map see what happiness levels are like why did where's you the turn, bar you turned off the ui how did i turn off the ui i don't know what did i hit oh okay i was like what did i hit oh i missed one i missed one hello fenrius welcome to the frontier fam <laughs> and thank you for complimenting my hair just for future reference, uh, I do actually go by she, her, that's fine, I go by any pronouns. Uh, I am non-binary, but I know that's not obvious today, because I am in a dress for <laughs> once. And usually I'm like a little dark academia goblin boy sitting here. <laughs> but I change genders as often as I change aesthetics. One facility is having, oh, this one's having a significantly negative effect. Why? Oh, I think it's because there's a tunnel there, they walk through it, so there's no sort of shielding i guess like you can see they walk literally right through where it has yeah i know but the it, aura but it looks pretty I, yeah, totally they could just suck it up <laughs> wow oh i'm sorry if you want to, that was really pretty i'm sorry you want to complain at me that you're having a negative effect for the 30 seconds it takes to walk through this one pretty tunnel that sounds like a you problem <laughs> please let's not insult our guests too much no, I'll insult them for this. <laughs> Check your privilege. You're getting to walk through a nice greenhouse. If that's your biggest problem of the day, I think you're doing all right. I think that means this is a pretty positive zoo experience. <laughs> Savage. <laughs> <sighs> but I think with us, that's about, oh, I can hear a harping over here. I do like the noise they make. Mm -hmm. I can't hear it. Well, yeah. 
Unfortunately, you can't hear the game. You can just hear me. But I can hear happy little penguin noises. Um, but I do think that's probably about a good point to wrap up. We've made good progress. We've got this whole area done. And now it's we're ready nice, to yeah. crack on with a whole new area of the zoo. It's oh, like... someone lost a balloon. Someone lost several balloons. Oh, Sorry, no. I just saw the shadows. Yeah, I can't remember what the thing is to explode all the balloons. <laughs> it's really tempting, though. Do it. No. I can't remember what it is. Some other time. Otherwise, I would, but another time. But yeah, we're at a good point to then end up adjusting and starting on a new zoo area at some point. It feels mm -hmm. like we're probably going to end up having to put otters in, considering the alert notification, considering the excitement. Um, but yeah, thank you, everyone, so much for joining us. Thank you, Jens, for being here. Hey, thank you for having me. It's been great. It has been great, and I am very much looking forward to see what you're doing when I'm away. But I will not be away for another week yet, so you guys are going to have me back here for one more week at least. Mm. Uh, so you can look forward to that. But uh, I will transition over, so say bye to everybody, Jens. Bye. bye. And now you just have me, so I can take a look and see who is here since I have been busy playing the game. Who's stuck around? Um, I'm seeing, of course, our mods who have been keeping this active and getting, keeping on top of everything for us. Thank you so much. I'm seeing Elian, I'm seeing Nevlian, I'm seeing people saying bye already, so thank you for being here. It was lovely, lovely to have you. Thank you, Hunter. Hi. Thank you, Caesar, for staying for the entire time. And genuinely, it has been so nice to be back here for another week with you all. And I'm very excited for next week. Uh, until then, if you haven't seen, there is the Asian Small Pod Otter Talk now up on our YouTube in case you missed it during Cappy Cam. So you can now watch that and see some of our friends at Shepworth Wildlife Park and learn a bit about the Asian Small Pod Otter. There's also our Cappy Barra talk up there already. And you can look forward to some of the other Keeper Talks coming in the near future on our channels. And uh, of course, if you don't already have it, you can get the Wetlands Animal Pack on Steam. If you aren't sure exactly where to get that, you can stick in the Twitch chat, just exclamation mark wetlands with a capital letter and you will be able to get the link directly. And with that, that's probably it for another week here at Planet Zoo. So thank you so much for joining me all. And until next time, guys, gals, non-binary pals, bye. <laughs>